So when you say automations, do you want to give us some examples of the sorts of things that you guys might be automating? Sure. Uh, let, let's just say something very basic. They booked a some sort of meeting, an appointment, um, and just an automation of day of, or as they do that, confirmation email, uh, you know, three days prior to an appointment, comp, you know, an email sent out. The day prior, a text sent out to, to remind them. And an hour prior to the appointment, a text sent out. Um, also for uh, lead generation, anybody who does fill out a form but does not book a meeting of some sort, uh, then we, we go ahead and start sending them emails uh, using for form leads, you know, uh, magnet leads to, to give them something in return for their information. So we sort of sit down, strategize and see how to build these funnels, how to automate them and uh, how best to nurture their clients through the process. Fantastic. Yeah. And I think there's an ever increasing awareness that automation of, of mundane tasks is possible. You know, I was, I was talking yeah. with a guest we've got in a couple of weeks' time, Devrim, who specializes in not not particularly marketing optimizations and automations, but general business administration automations. Mm -hmm. And we were discussing how yeah, you know, yeah. a lot of people initially probably only see the things that they do every day that frustrate them as being targets for automations. What they probably don't see are the things that yeah. they choose not to do because they just don't have the time yet. Um where right. the automations can just kind of take a whole new project on on your behalf and, and do something that you thought about doing but never really had the ability or the resources to be able to do it. So that's that's fantastic. 